Um, so let's start with this. What are the biggest Georgia-specific issues that the candidates need to address tonight? Listen, the people of Georgia are focused on the things that people all over this country are focused on. I'm, I'm glad, first of all, that we're in Georgia, uh, which made the difference. Uh, in the, the last presidential race, we flipped uh, the Senate, and as a result of that, we passed a bipartisan infrastructure bill, which has literally created some 600,000 new jobs all across our country, about $9 billion of investments right here in Georgia alone. We're seeing jobs being created all across the state. I was at a company the other day, Absolix, in, in Covington, Georgia, where they've created 200 new jobs. What are they doing? Uh, they are creating or helping to create uh, uh, chips. Uh, and that is a result of the chips and science bill that we passed. Uh, all of this wouldn't have happened uh, had we not uh, uh, did what we did in Georgia uh, four years ago, and I think we're, we're going to do it again. What do you say to voters who voiced concern about President Biden's age heading into a potential second term? Listen, the, the fact of the matter is the two men on the stage tonight are roughly the same age. Uh, the question is what age is each trying to take us to? And so I, I can tell you that as uh, an African-American man, as a pastor, as the pastor of Dr. King's church, uh, I get nervous uh, when someone like Donald Trump talks about making America great again. And my question is, what year does he want to take us back to? He wants to go backwards, where women have no say over their own bodies, uh, where uh, voters of color have to struggle to get to the polls, uh, where uh, the wealthy and the well-connected have the largest and biggest voices uh, in government. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are trying to take us forward. And you can see it in part by the partners that they've picked to work alongside them. I'm proud of the fact that I'm working uh, alongside a president who has uh, the most diverse administration that we have seen. Uh, Joe Biden has uh, nominated and we have confirmed more black women to the federal judiciary than all of his, uh, all of his counterparts, all of his predecessors combined. Uh, he believes in the American covenant, e pluribus unum, out of many, one, that we are stronger when we stand together, and that's what we need in a moment like this. Not somebody trying to divide us, but someone who's trying to bring us together and move the entire country forward. Senator, last question for you. What's at stake tonight? Uh, the future of our democracy, the, the health of the American soul. Donald Trump is a plague on the American conscience. Uh, he stood up on January 6th, ignited a, a kind of poison that's really been a cancer on the body politic. And that cancer metastasized in voter suppression bills and laws all across our country, including in our own state of Georgia. Thankfully, the people of Georgia, in spite of all the barriers put in front of them by craven actors at the state level, showed up in record numbers they endured the rain, they endured uh, all of the challenges. Uh, those who tried to deny their, their right to vote, those who said that their vote was somehow not an authentic vote, uh, they withstood all of that. By the way, we've, we withstood uh, court challenges that said we couldn't vote the first weekend of the runoff. And uh, they sent me back to the United States Senate, elected an African-American and a Jewish man uh, to move the country forward. Uh, we need leaders who are trying to bring us all together.